Hello everyone, I am Yash Patel and welcome to my channel Django World. So in today's video, we are going to see that how we can connect our Django or Django REST framework project with Docker. So to start with this video, you need to have some amount of knowledge related to Docker. Okay, you need to understand the concepts like how to create containers, what are containers, what are images and all those things in Docker okay so i'll just give you small introduction related to docker and then we will start connecting the project to docker so docker is an open source platform that allows developers to create deploy and run application in the container and containers provides the lightweight portable and consistent environment to run the applications and it also makes easier to deploy and manage the software on the server okay so let's jump into computer screen and implement the con uh, connection of docker connection of uh, project to docker okay so let's get started so here i am on my computer screen now i already have installed docker in my pc so anyway you can install docker by visiting the website and downloading it it is pretty straightforward method to install it and if you still have any confusion you can search video about installing docker and you will get some some videos which will easily explain you that how you can install the docker in your system okay so once you install just open the docker desktop app minimize it okay now in vs code close all the files okay now here where the manage.pr file is present create new file which says docker file name it with capital d okay this file don't have any extension now since we are going to use python we need to tell docker that we are going to run the python project and what python version it should use so here i can say from okay but before that let me tell you one thing just go to the extensions and download docker extension download this extension okay i'll just close i have already installed that so you can pause the video and download it now if i write from and here I can write the image name which is going to be our python version so here I can say python and uh, the version it will be 3 so I write 3 over here so when we will run the docker run command at that time this will basically download the python okay after that I will say env first I will write whole code and then I will explain you each and every line okay I'll say python un buffer buffered okay and I will say one and I'll say run now I will create one directory so I'll say mkdir and the name of the directory will be log underscore api and after that I'll say work directory which is going to be slash blog underscore api okay then i'll say copy now here source is going to be dot because this will basically copy all the code which is present in our current directory and paste it to blog underscore api okay done so after doing all these things i will say again run and then i will type the command so it will be pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt okay once this is done i'll just create one another file okay so i'll say new file and i'll say docker hyphen compose dot yml okay so before moving to the docker compose dot yml okay 
I will explain you this code. So let us understand this first line from Python 3. Okay, so this line basically specifies the basic image that the new Docker image will be built upon. Okay, and uh, in this case, it's the official Python 3 image for the Docker. Okay, so it will basically fetch the Python 3 image from Docker Hub. Okay, so Docker Hub is a basically website that that contains all the images okay and the second line specifies that it will set the environment variable python environment variable in unbuffer mode and this is uh, useful when running python in the docker container as it ensures that the logs are independently outputted to the console okay after that this will create the uh blog underscore api folder okay and uh, this is our work directory we are basically specifying our work directory and then this will copy all this code to the blog underscore api folder after copying this will run the pip install hyphen r requirements.txt command to install all these libraries okay I hope you got idea about this one okay so I'll just click on this uh, docker compose.yml and what's this I don't know I just close that okay so here we are basically going to create our services okay so here I will say that version v version will be 3.9 so here i'm specifying the compose version and here i'll say services and first i'll create web service okay so in this web service i'll say build dot so this will basically build all the code and then i'll say command and our command is going to be python manage.py run server and I'll specify port 8000 okay after that I'll say volumes and I will just mount this one slash blog underscore api okay and after that i'll say port 8000 8000 okay now let me explain this code so the first line specifies the version of the docker compose syntax being used okay after that the services this is the section defined that the containers that makes up the application now this is the name of the service or a container whatever you can call after that this is the build okay so this this line basically specifies that the container should be built using the docker file located in the directory in the current directory okay so this one okay so i mean this location where the manage.py file is present after that the command line basically specifies that the command should be run inside the container when it start in this case it runs the django development server okay and this volumes section will be is basically specifying that uh, this will basically mount the current directory in our case it is blog underscore api okay and this ports line will basically map the port 8000 to the host machine to port 8000 inside the container along to access the django development server from outside of the container okay so the setup for connecting django rest framework application 
to docker is done now we need to build and download images and all those stuff so there are specific commands to perform those tasks first i'll clear the terminal okay so here first i'll run docker compose run web python manage.py migrate okay so once i run this command it is going to download all the required images and then it will start installing the packages but before this command i need to write pip press requirements.txt okay done now i can go with this docker compose command hit enter wait until and unless it don't complete its process okay it might take some time okay so let me open requirements.txt we don't need many packages from this uh, okay sorry i haven't activated the virtual environment before starting this uh, docker command because all the packages which is related to the particular project in our case it is blog api project right it is in virtual environment so i need to activate it so i haven't activated and i started running the pip press command so now i can run pip face command okay so these are the packages which we are looking for okay now i can run that command again okay so you can see we got messages no migrations to apply now if i write docker compose up so this will basically start the server okay you can see our django rest framework has been started in the docker okay so if i go ahead in the browser if i write localhost localhost 8000 hit enter you can see our project is working fine okay so let me just go ahead in api slash blog slash blog underscore list you can see we are able to fetch the data okay so i hope you got idea about the connection between docker and the django rest framework applications or django application okay so yeah this is it for today's video guys if you like my video please like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you in the next one thank you